And welcome back. Although the Bronx was once a hub for music creation and performance, the disinvestment in the 1970s and 80s destroyed many performance venues, devastating the music scene. As a result, access to the arts and cultural programming has become very scarce here in the borough of the Bronx. Created by WETCO, the Bronx Music Heritage Center is committed to preserving and promoting Bronx music, cultivating Bronx artists, and then spurring neighborhood revival, as well as providing free cultural programs for the community. Here to tell us a little bit more is the co-artistic director and curator at the Bronx Music Heritage Center, Elena Martinez, and then photographer and author, Joe Conzo Jr. And uh, welcome both to the show. Hi, good morning. Thank you. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. And so as we talk a little bit about this here, honestly, uh, as I said in the intro, yeah, a lot of the music dissipated during the 70s and 80s, particularly venues. Um, but you guys are doing something in terms of uh, reversing the course, if you will. Uh, so Elena, share with us a little bit about it. So, well, hi, um, my name is <clears throat> Elena Martinez. I'm one of the core artistic directors of the Bronx Music Heritage Center, which will soon be the Bronx Music Hall at our new space. Um, I'm, I'm one of the artistic directors along with Bobby Sanabria, the jazz musician, who grew up right in Melrose, that neighborhood where our new space, the Bronx Music Hall, um, will soon be open. We um, were part of what goes Bronx Commons building. Our, th our indoor theater will be open very soon. But right now we are currently doing outdoor events at our plaza there, um, right across from Bodica College. And as you mentioned that, you know, there was a time, right, the, the Bronx has this rich history of music, um, whether it's uh, hip hop, um, all the, the being called the, the borough of salsa. Um, but, you know, it's actually right now, it's a really exciting time to be in the Bronx because there's a lot of great things happening in the Bronx. Musically, there's so many communities that are making um, music and adding to the soundscape. There's, um, you know, large African communities, large Garifuna communities that are like, larger like one of the largest diasporic communities um, of African communities and Garifuna communities are here in the Bronx um, Bengali musicians so there's a lot of new things happening so there's a lot of creative energy and music out there and there's a lot of a, a lot of organizations actually doing a lot of different events too we're just um glad to be part of this sort of like um you know um soundscape landscape of organizations that are able to present all this great um, all this great music, all this great culture that has always been a part of the Bronx's legacy and I think still remains, even though we have this history and these sort of stereotypes of all this things that went, went on a generation or two ago, you know, with the devastation and the displacement. But um, I think there, you know, the, the Bronx has um, sort of reclaimed its great, um, you know, great title as a great place for culture and the Bronx Music Hall hopes to be at the at the center of that and I'm really glad we get to work with Joe because he's on our music and not only being a, a great photographer and friend he's on our music advisory board as well yeah and he brings his artistic talents and uh honestly to be able to capture some of this Joe talk to us about uh your participation and then also the fact that you know you've got a book as well well I, I'm just excited that um I'm part of this whole new generation of venues coming up like the Bronx Music Character Center, like Elena mentioned, um, you know, that stigma about the Bronx, you know, listen, throw that out, so, throw that out. The Bronx is alive and kicking, especially with the Bronx M Music Character Center. And like she mentioned, I sit on the advisory board there with other great musicians and pioneers like Grandmaster Kaz and so many others. But um, I'm just excited to support and to, you know, young artists, new artists, old artists, so to speak, and just, you know, get the word out there that the, block, the, the Bronx is alive and kicking and so much is going on. And, you know, I've had the opportunity to publish my book, Born in the Bronx, republish it this past uh, month or so. And um, it's an expanded version of uh, my book that um, LL Cool J wrote the intro to it. And uh, I, I'm just excited to share it with the world again, to share it with a new generation of hip hop uh, uh, aficionados that uh, love uh, the old school music. Yeah. And, you know, we're excited because the Bronx Rising series is on its way. And uh, for those people who don't know about it, you know, share with us a little bit about Bronx Rising, Elena. 
So um, we have a few different series that we do at the Bronx Music Heritage Center. And Bronx Rising, as you mentioned, is one of them. That's sort of probably our oldest, our signature series. We do that once a month. And it's sort of, um, it's sort of like a multi-layered program, which usually when we were indoors um, before the pandemic would have like poetry or film and then, and, and then end with a, a concert. Now we have to you know, re reprogrammatic, reschedule a little bit because we're doing it outdoors. But we hope to be indoors really soon and get back to that. We're still doing some virtual events. This this program we have tonight with Joe will be um, with um, will be um, virtual, but we also have live programming too. So people should follow our Facebook page to um, um, BX Music to um, see what's coming up. Yeah, Joe, how difficult is it to do a virtual program of this magnitude, knowing that uh, when you talk about arts and entertainment, it's really a hands-on field. I. Uh, it- you know, Darren, it, we adapt and overcome. That's just Bronx period. You know, you adapt and overcome and you make do with what you got. And, you know, so I'm, I've kind of like transitioned off into this Zoom world, and things that of that nature. But, you know, things are opening back up and slowly but surely, baby steps, we'll, we'll get onto that hands-on visual, touchy-feely stuff. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll make it happen. But in the meantime, we make do what, with what we have and, and we make it happen. It's about the information. It's about sharing the information and the Bronx Music Heritage Center with Elena and Bobby are just doing phenomenal work over there. And I'm just so proud to be a part of it. Yeah, Elena, I got a little bit less than a minute left, but I just want to get to talk to you about this. Absolutely want to bring this up. To have a mixed use facility and to be able to have these venues in a mixed use facility, uh, talk to me just a little bit about what that means. Um, you know, it, it, we're, it's really incredible because Bobby and I are both from the Bronx. So to be able to present and bring to work with all these incredible artists at in the in the Bronx where we were we're from is a it was an honor and just a you know just fun to to be able to do that. And um, the space is really beautiful. The new theater will have um 250 seat theater, which will be able to be used for theater type performances as well as um, dance. We can move the chairs and have dances. We'll have a great um, exhibit space with um, a reception area. We have um, a dance studio that'll be in there. So we hope that we can you know, work with the community in different ways for sort of programming, for workshops, for classes, um, to work with all, all members of the community. So we're really looking forward to have the space as well as we have this great outdoor, outdoor plaza, which we can do events there. Um, so we are really looking forward to a soft opening this fall and then our grand opening in the spring for that. Well, great. Best wishes. Best wishes on the event tonight. Joe Conzo Jr., Elena Martinez, thank you so much for being with us here on Open and uh, much success during the summer. Thank you. Thanks, Darren. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Now, listen, I want our viewers to know if you want more information, what I want you to do is visit the website. This is bronxmusic.org. And of course, you can follow them on Facebook and Instagram at BX Music. We encourage you, please don't go anywhere. We've got more Open coming up. We'll return right after this.